Hey guys, it's the Two Tattoo Travelers and we're down here in Fair Play, Colorado. We're going to bring you an episode of the Real Life Places of South Park. We're standing currently in front of Stark's Pond in Fair Play, Colorado. Yeah, it's beautiful out here. It's very cold and uh, yeah, we're going to be visiting real life locations of South Park and Fair Play. Welcome to our new series, The Real Places of South Park, where Ian and I take you inside the episodes of South Park and show you the real life locations in Fair Play, Colorado. For our pilot episode, we are in the city of Fair Play, Colorado elevation 9,953 feet. Fair Play is a city within South Park County, uh, located along Alma and Montgomery City. Fun fact, South Park was named by early fur traders and trappers in the area. South Park had its heyday in the 1850s when they had three successful gold strikes that lasted until the 1870s. Nowadays, if you look up South Park on Google, it will show you Fair Play, Colorado, where in this town, a historic area called South Park City is placed in the center of it. South Park is an animated TV series that follows around four elementary school boys who get into shenanigans around South Park. We have traveled 90 miles from Denver to Fair Play, Colorado. We're currently standing on Main Street, which has appeared in the TV series numerous times. Main Street first appeared in South Park in the episode Cartman Gets an Anal Probe. Okay, Carmen, you can stop farting fire now. And since then, it has appeared countless times in other episodes. Main Street in South Park is exactly like it's portrayed in the TV series. There's not much to do around here, just a few local businesses. Yeah, it's pretty desolate, and I think we're like the biggest thing going on right now in Fair Play. We do have an audience of people watching us right now. But this is one of our first of many stops of real life actual locations that appeared in South Park, the TV series. City Hall, right behind us, first appeared in South Park in the episode Volcano. But you see, Mr. Mayor, you can't stop serving Salisbury steak in our public school. It has appeared well over 60 times in South Park seasons. This location also has Mayor McDaniel's office where she can be seen trying to kill herself in the episode Die, Hippie, Die. What have I done? She later comes back in that episode with her head wrapped up. She actually didn't succeed in killing herself. Right off Main Street, we take a stop at the South Park Church. It's a Roman Catholic church where priest Maxie and Sister Anne run the place. It first appeared in the episode Spontaneous Combustion, 
where citizens of South Park spontaneously combust for no reason. Priest Maxie blamed this phenomenon on people not attending church on Sunday Mass. Perhaps if more of you attended church on Sundays, the Lord would not have felt it necessary to punish us by take a thing, this little boy. Oh, here comes the guilt trip again. Yeah, this location is also where they held Kenny's funeral. Dude, he looks so peaceful without his little orange coat on. Yeah. We're here in front of the Park County Recreation Center here in South Park and Fairplay. Uh, this is where the town gathers for their recreational purposes. In the series South Park, it had its first appearance in the episode Death, where Kyle's mom calls all the other kids' parents to gather them around to boycott the show Terrence and Philip. Yeah, that was a good episode. And I myself was not aware of this horrible show until recently. I have a clip to demonstrate exactly what I mean. Hey, Philip, guess what? What? But location was also used in the episode Night of the Living Homeless, where they all had to barricade themselves inside the recreational center and uh, hide from the zombie-like homeless people looking for change. 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 change! We don't have any change! Go away! Looks like she's not going to show up, Stan. Let's go look for the visitors now. But her note said she'd be here. Hey guys, we're down here at Stark's Pond in Fairplay, Colorado. It's located right off of 285. In the first episode of South Park, Cartman gets an anal probe. Wendy and Stan meet at this pond that we're standing in front of, where they realize Ike is in trouble and has to get rescued from the visitors. Wendy suggests using Cartman as bait. This was the first showing of Stark's Pond in the South Park series. It was used through seasons one through seven. Finally, it was destroyed in season eight in the episode, Something Walmart This Way Comes. People of South Park, I am pleased to be with you on this most historic day. A day you will certainly all remember as the day your town became great. The grand opening of the first South Park Walmart. Hey, isn't this where Stark's Pond used to be? Where we used to kayak and fish? Yeah, now it's a Walmart. So we're down here at the Java Moose in uh, Fair Play. While there is no definitive answer to what coffee house could actually be the Tweak Brothers Coffee House, this is the one that we stopped in front of because it's on Main Street. The Tweak Brothers Coffee House was shown in the season two episode Gnomes. It was also popularized in the game The Stick of Truth, where you could go buy coffee as potions. Hell yeah. Mr. Tweak, we've only just heard. Oh, hello, committee members. What a surprise. So this is the corporate bulldozer trying to push you off the map. Yes, how did you hear? These boys did an excellent report for us this morning. They're so
You know, here at Tweet Brothers, we believe in using homegrown labor. That's why our son toils in the back all day. Sure, we could hire workers, but I guess we just care a little more. Uh, will this snow ever melt? town of South Park. There'll be a series of us doing real life locations in South Park and Denver, Colorado from the TV show South Park. Thank you for joining us on this uh, episode of the Real Places of South Park. We hope you enjoy it. Hey, hey if you like this video, subscribe to the Two Tattoo Travelers. 